Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got these box braids. Um, this is actually supposed to be knotless box braids, but it didn't turn out exactly as knotless. But I think if you guys try this and take some tips that I have at the end for you and apply it, then you will have like the perfect knotless braids in your hair. So yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get these braids on my hair. I'm going to be showing you the preparation steps and then me actually putting in the box braids. And for this, I actually used the crochet method and I originally got it from a YouTuber called J Marie. I think that's her name. Is it Jayla? No, it's J Marie. Um, so I'm just going to put her video in the description box down below. Um, she does explain it quite well and I did sort of make a mistake. Um, I didn't re-watch the video. I only watched the video once and I was like, oh, this is cool. I want to try it. So yeah, um, I will just be letting you guys know what I learned from doing my hair um, in this method and just giving you tips on how to avoid the same mistakes that I made. So yes, um, and don't judge me. This is my fresh makeup face. And then you're going to go to my 2 a.m. face. So I'm going to look tired. I'm going to look sleepy. I was hungry. There was food in the background. So don't judge me for that. But yes, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I'm just starting off by sectioning my hair and I'm doing a box braid pattern. Um, I tried a few times before I eventually got this somewhat right. So I'm just trying to make sure the line is as straight as possible even though it wasn't in the end. But yeah, I'm just taking box sections, medium sized boxes and um, just sectioning it off before I even start to braid at all. This is me braiding the hair now. I had already previously oiled and conditioned, like used leave-in conditioner on my hair, so I didn't do that for this particular line. And I'm just braiding my hair down. I'm just going to do that for the rest of that line, and then I'm going to eventually move on and keep doing that throughout the rest of this particular section on the rest of my hair. Okay, so after I'm done with the first line, I go ahead and start doing the second line on my hair and um, I'm doing the brick laying method which is like you want to try and get the braids on the line above the first line you've just done. You want to try and get the braids falling in between the parts of your first line. I don't know if that makes sense but it just makes the hair look nicer and um, like it just falls better i don't know if that makes sense to anyone but yeah that's what i was uh, trying to achieve by doing the bricklaying method And then, yeah, I just didn't show you guys the whole session of me um, braiding it. But um, here's just a clip of when I had finished like my first two larger sections in the back. And then I had only the front section to go. So yeah, it's looking good on camera from what I see now. But at that point, I didn't know what it looked like, hence the face. But yeah, it's 
so I'm just getting started on the front of my hair and then I'm just gonna grab a bobby pin just to help me with like defining my sections more um, and then I already did a couple of lines along the front of my hair because I needed it to look pretty neat anyways I'm just going ahead to section in the boxes and I'm just using my as I am double butter cream it actually came that day so I decided to use it on the spot to moisturize my hair you know I just wanted to see how it turned out after I took out my braids um, so I wanted to see how good of a moisturizer slash leave-in it is which is why I'm just using it on the front of my hair Okay y'all, so here's a quick glance at what my hair looks like after I'm done with the braids and then I'm just going to go proceed with the actual braiding hair which is what you came to see. So yeah, I'm just taking this size of braids or braiding hair and then I'm going to put the crochet pin through the base of my braid and I'm going to pull the braiding hair through the base. This is the major part for the invisible box braids so yeah this is what you want to see and emulate i guess so you want to pull that through and make sure that both sides of your braids are equal and then you want to take a bit of hair from both sides to cover up your middle braid so you're gonna go when you're braiding you're gonna make sure that your your braided hair which is your own hair stays underneath the braiding hair which is mostly about the movement of your hands when you're braiding so you're just going to do like a twisting motion so it covers that braid hopefully that makes sense so this is just what i'm doing here i'll give you guys a closer look at it when i get to the front of my hair so you understand better what i mean by like a twisting motion and hiding the braid Okay, so now I'm just finishing up with the first braid and then I proceed to do the same step again, putting the crochet pin through the base of my braid and then pulling the braiding hair through. And this is what makes for the invisible or knotless braids. So again, you want to like pull it through, make sure that it doesn't get stuck or snag any of your hair and then make sure that it's the same length on both sides take a little hair from both sides and cover up your actual hair and twist your braiding hair over your actual hair so it doesn't show up again i will show you guys in more detail when i get to the front of my hair so for now enjoy a sped up clip of me just repeating the same thing over again Okay, so here as I'm finishing up the last braid on the first line of my um, box braids, you can see that my braids are a bit bumpy and um, this is where my next video comes in. So my next video is going to be things to know before you do not less box braids and there I'll just be addressing some of the mistakes that I made as this was my first time trying not less box braids. <laughs> you guys, it's like 1.12 a.m. Jigel is tired. I'm actually so tired, but I have a quarter of my head left. Hopefully I'll be done at like 2ish a.m. 2.33, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going now. <sighs> okay guys, voiceover chatty is back and I just have five braids left to go. So I just wanted to show you guys a clearer view of what I was showing in the back. One thing to note is that if your braiding hair is not going through the base of your braid, 
um, you might want to twist it a little bit so it like it's smaller and it fits through the base of your braid hopefully that makes sense I think I had a clip showing how to twist it so it goes through your you know the base of your braid but in case that's not here I just thought to point that out so yeah I'm just going on the front of my hair and doing the same things I did in the back although here you could get a much clearer view of me doing the twist and tuck thing hopefully the video demonstration helps to put what I said before in perspective uh, yeah and yeah sorry guys if I sound like I am so businessy formal I guess that's just how I sound um, so yeah here I'm just like twisting the braiding hair around my braid and trying my best to tuck my hair in and tuck my ends because at the end of the day this is a protective style and we want to put our ends away was I fully successful not exactly but did I care no because it was 3 a.m. yeah so yeah I did the best I could anyways but yeah um, hopefully this demonstration helped you see how I twisted and tucked my hair in now I'm just finishing off my last two braids and finishing off and this at this point I was singing hallelujah because it took me a long time a long time to do this hair longer than I budgeted for but are the results worth it of course of course they are of course they always are you know Now this is me sleepishly, 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 whatever, finishing off my last braid and um, we're getting it done, we're getting it done. Okay guys, this is a final shot, not final shots, but this is after the braids are finally done. Um, and then I, all I do is I just go ahead and dip the braids in hot water, which I've done in this clip, um, which helps the braids to lie a lot flatter and, you know, look much more movement-ish <laughs> than the way it looked in the previous clip. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start trimming the ends of the braids. I'm just using any random scissors and I'm trimming the ends of the braids that I don't want. Um, I like to see them, you know, look nice and not all raggedy like they did before. And after I do this step, I don't trim the body of my braids. So I use gel to like sleek it down. So I'm going in with invisible gel, which is the first one you see. And I'm just going to rub it on the ends of my hair and I'm also going to be using spiking gel to follow that up and I'm just going to be rubbing that as well just to make my the ends of my hair look more relaxed and you know nicer and yeah this is what my hair is looking like after I'm done with all that the process is finally done glory hallelujah okay so I'm just giving you guys a look at what my hair looks like after I'm done with the hot water and with the gels um, yeah I like how it turned out like it was okay it wasn't great but um, like I said look out for my next video to see how you know to see how to finesse them a lot more than I did thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video